Hey guys, welcome to my channel. You're chilling with London, your favorite queer creative model. I'm so excited you're joining me today. Um, I just wanted to give you some points. So now you've discovered that you want to be a model, either you're a freelance model or you just have a passion for modeling and you want to go the route of using a modeling agency to represent you, get you your jobs and all of those things. How do you go about that? Good question. So first of all, what you need to do is get yourself some plain clothing. You, I think black usually complements a lot better. Um, you get a plain black tank top and um, a black skinny jean. If you like heels, you can get a plain um, pair of black heels or a pair of black shoes. Mm. Your, your look will be complete. These have to be very flattering. They have to look really nice on you. It has to show if you got some curves you want to show. It has to show your curves. If you, it just must complement your body. It must make your body look nice, basically. And then second step, you have to get um, a plain background. Whether it's a wall, plain wall, anyway, just as long as a plain background preferably i think white is good white looks really nice it gives a nice professional-ish kind of vibe so i would say i would advise you can get a plain black wool to shoot your pictures against you don't need to have a fancy camera you don't need to get a photographer you can get your little sister you can get your little brother your little niece that's what i do <laughs> you can get anyone to basically take the pictures with the phone it has to just be a really decent camera phone um doesn't have to be edited it, the pictures cannot be edited you cannot edit the pictures um you can put filters on the pictures they have to be as plain and clean as possible you have to take a picture that's gonna show your face picture of um showing your smile for me it helps for me to smile because i've got this gap and that i want to show my potential agents is to know that I've got this gap, so I smile. You take some side profiles, right? You take some head-on profiles. You take some mid-length. Mid-length you will obviously take from your thighs up or your waist up. And then you have full body pictures. Make sure that you have straight looking into the camera, straight, no posing, not doing anything. And then you can do like some pose that would show your potential, show your modeling potential, how nice your body moves. But you must make sure that you also have those plain pictures and then some side profiles, straight, head straight, some side profiles. That and helps. then the next step will be going to the modeling agencies that you feel will best suit your skill sets or the kind of modeling you want to do. You can also follow their social medias and check what kind of models they represent. For me personally, I have to go for queer friendly models because I'm a queer person. I'm, I can be very androgynous and I can be quite masculine. I can be quite feminine. I need an agency that's going to be okay with me either way. You understand? So that was what I looked for when I was looking for my modeling agency it's very preferable if you go to their websites and you don't find a model that already looks like you that helps a lot because most do reject um when they already have a model that looks like you but if that particular agency that you want already has a model that looks like you it's fine even you can apply year after year with modeling agencies they will give you a time limit you can always apply so maybe in a year's time or in two years time even they will have they won't have that model anymore and they'll still need that, that particular look and then you can get it via that same way so basically you're researching your social media that's where you find your modeling agencies you can go um but social media social media is your friend when it comes to finding um, modeling agencies you just focus on that or if you've got a model that you already look up to then you can look at what agency they signed with and so forth okay so the next step would obviously be going to the website and then you must make sure that you have a measuring tape right because what i find with different websites different modeling websites they have different um things that they would like you to measure so you i would say have a measuring tape with you when you're filling out the application um so most likely they will ask for your height so you have to know your height you have to know your weight um all the stuff like skin color eye color they don't ask skin color they don't my bad they don't ask skin color um it's hair color eye color you have to know those things obviously and then you have your measuring tape with you they will ask to maybe you your height your waist your breast your hips 
things like that you just measure while you are applying and then you put input all that information and then you send it through so but i feel like would be most important to tell you when you're applying for a modeling agency most most important is patience patience with yourself patience with the agency patience with the universe in general because we get rejected Asha. the rejection levels are ridiculous um, i remember when i decided that i want to go from freelance to having an agency all the agencies that i thought would take me just like that did not it was so humbling i swear to god but it was also very discouraging i felt like maybe i'm not so good maybe i'm i shouldn't be a model maybe 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 you see those kinds of things so it's very important that you are patient with yourself just because this particular agency is not what is not looking for a person like you per se does not mean the next one does not just keep going at it keep applying um they'll call you to interviews when you get to interviews be very polite when you do your test shots and they just test you in front of the camera give it your all do your best show them what you got show them why you'd be a value um valuable asset to sign um, unfortunately a lot of us can be scouted where you basically get um a scout to approach you that does happen and if you like enough to get that good for you that's very amazing but it does not always happen like that and even if it does in my case i did get a lot of offers from scouts but when i would get the contracts and when i would finally get the contracts to sign there would be a lot of clauses and things that i just mm, i wasn't willing to go I felt like I was selling my soul to some of these people so I would then be like no thank you I'm fine that's why I freelanced for so long because I couldn't find the right agency which is also okay it worked out very well for me when I was ready to find an agency I found the agency I was looking for but at the end of the day you have to understand that you will get rejected you just have to be um, continue pursuing continue trying and yeah don't let any of the rejections make you think that you can't model because the right agency will see that you can model the right agency will be looking for you in particular and you can get signed also when you finally do get your contract guys read your contracts please i know we're excited we always want to just jump right in but i would advise read your contract and if you don't understand the terminology find someone that does anyway that's all i got today i just wanted to give you those little pointers to help you you know grab your opportunity for success in the modeling industry in sa i hope this helps someone and if you guys do have some pointers that i did not mention anything that is very important that i forgot and went right past please do mention in the comment section please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video follow on social media as well I really appreciate to interact with you until next time love ya